I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Hi, my name is Max. And I'm Afua, and this is your Thursday morning newscast. As we know, the past week has been Spirit Week. Lots of people have come out and shown all their school spirit. And here's an interview with Mr. Rutkin about what we have been doing at VTV. Hi, I'm Libby, and I'm here interviewing Mr. Rutkin about what's been happening in BTV. So, I hear that there's 11 students coming here from England. Yes, we've been Skyping uh, with a specific class in uh, southern England for the last four years. And this past spring, we were able to take 10 students to visit their school um, and spend a week going to their school, visiting all historic sites in London and places. And in two and a half weeks, or two weeks, We'll have 11 British students and two teachers coming to Bachelor. Spend an entire week here at Bachelor. They're going to attend some of our classes. They're going to visit Indiana University, visit Indianapolis, and uh, be very similar to our visit here. But it's a, a cultural exchange, a great opportunity for students on both sides of the pond to learn about each other. And we want to welcome them when they uh, arrive in just two weeks. Really? That's interesting. I've been also hearing that there's going to be a chili supper. Tell me about that. The chili supper and auction is back, uh, BTV's big fundraiser each year, which will help us buy much needed equipment and will also help finance some of the uh, activities with the British students while they are here. Um, on Saturday, October 19th, we'll start serving all-you-can-eat chili dinner for $5 a person. Great bargain. Uh, starting at 5 p.m. and around 6.15 we'll have a benefit auction which will include a lot of theme baskets. It will include uh, some autographed sports memorabilia. We got some great items this year. We invite you to come out and check out the uh, Chili Supper and Auction and support BTV. But the big item, which costs $2,000 to do, we've got donation jars out right now and if we get $2,000 in those jars by the time the auction begins, you guys get to dye my hair some ridiculous color. Last year it was lime green. Two years ago it was Smurf blue. What's it going to be this year? That's our big fundraiser for BTV. Wow, that's crazy. Also, another thing that I've heard is that there's going to be a full-length movie called Frankenstein. Yes, about every two or three years, BTV produces a feature-length movie, and we have a big premiere in the spring at the Buskirk Chumley Theater, complete with red carpet, limo arrivals, and the whole works. And this year we're doing Mary Shelley's Frankenstein. And the cast has been selected, and we will start filming actually in about a week. And filming will continue throughout the winter and spring, and the movie should be finished in sometime in late April or early May, and we'll premiere at the Buskirk Chumley Theater in uh, mid-May, and uh, it will be approximately an hour and 15 minutes long. There are still roles left, so if you're interested in being in our movie, Frankenstein. Cool. Thanks, Mr. Reckon. And here's an interview with Tanner and Colin about sports. Hi, I'm Tanner. And I'm Colin. And this, this is your Thursday, Thursday morning, morning sports cast. The boys cast country team is doing very good with a record of 21-1. The girls are doing well with the 21-0 record. Now here's the interview with Mr. Messner. How's the season going this year? Oh, the season's been going awesome. I mean, uh, the boy on the boys' side, we've only lost one uh, one race, really, uh, at the BNL invite. We've still got second out of 15 teams. The girls' side, we're still undefeated. So um, I would say that's a fairly successful season. What are you most proud of? I'm most proud of the way we finish races. Um, every meet, uh, our kids run, sprint to the finish line, and if they're racing anybody, nine times out of ten, we beat them. So uh, that push and that drive and the work ethic they have every day has been awesome. Um, who's the better coach, you or uh, Miss Davidoff? <laughs> me, of course. Mrs. Davidoff's got nothing on me. That's right, Mrs. Davidoff. I'm the boss. Thanks, Mr. Messman. And be sure to come out and support your Bulldogs at 5.30 tonight. Seventh grade football team is doing good with a record of 2-4. And, and eighth grade is doing good with a record of 4-2. and two. They both have a game tonight at Edgewood. Here's to an interview with Nathan Jenkins. So how's football season going? It's going good. 
as we're progressing in the season, we just our defense has been very great. We have been able to block some passes down, know where the play is going. What do you think your team needs improvement on? Well, we need to improve on passing and blocking so we can progress down the field. Eighth grade volleyball is doing good with a record of seven and four, and seventh grade is two and ten. And now to Mr. Freeze with the brain trainer. Hello, welcome to this week's brain trainer. The answer to last week's brain trainer was Illinois. Now over to Mr. Freeze with this week's brain trainer. What body part is Vincent Van Gogh most famous for cutting off? You can't cut between classes. Not through the library. Go back and go around. Signing off.